Welcome to something that honestly may not be relevant to a lot of y'all, but I still think it's worth saying. As I've said since pretty much day one that I've like talked in my videos on the channel, I'm gonna do whatever's most entertaining for y'all, and I'm not doing stuff for views, I'm doing it purely for y'all's entertainment. I ain't gonna make a video if I don't think it's good or has a point to it. And that's still going to be true no matter what video I do. If I do a video that's discussing a game that ain't out yet, whether that may be analyzing a trailer, or saying like a release date of something or another, or just information leaks, or my thoughts on something, whatever it may be, if I'm going to do the video, it's either going to be true, or it's going to be informative. Meaning, if it's something like an information leak, it's going to be from a source that has been proven credible. And I will link that source at any time possible. So, for example, meaning that original Crew 2 video I made that released the information of the bigger map, which proved to be true. Kind of knew that to begin with, though. I don't think that was the one that got people mad. The livery editor... That got proven to be true, but people didn't believe it when I announced it. And the open beta, which obviously is true because that was announced at E3 and is already able to be downloaded. All that got proven true. I did a video on it a few months ago and that relatively overwhelming was kind of negative. Granted, there was like 300 or 400 or so, I didn't keep fully track on it. Views, but let's just say about 400. And there was really only about 20 people or so who, like, commented in some way or another, whether it be a literal comment or, like, dislike. But, still, that got, like, 30 likes and, like, 13 dislikes or something like that. But, again, as I said, too, whether it's positive or negative... I'll still leave a comment or like or dislike or whatever. But I assume a lot of that wasn't necessarily me being like bad doing it or whatever. I think it was more about y'all thought I was just view farming. But every bit of that was proven true. I'm not trying to brag or anything. I'm just trying to say if I make a video, it has a point to it. It's not just to get views. My channel still doesn't make money. It may never make money and it has never made money so there's really no point for me in just trying to view farm because views equal money and if there's really no money coming in i'd much rather make the content better for y'all than just clickbaiting if it is a quote-unquote clickbait video it's going to be a joke and i'm going to try to make it obvious whether it's like the april fools or the i'm an official youtuber video or something like that it's not going to be anything that actually has importance to it, such as information leaks or release dates or something like that. It's because it's going to be something random, and a, at least my attempt of being original. So, to pretty much sum it up, I'm going to try to make the videos as good at, for y'all as possible. If it's something... That, like, of a more recent video, like the Crew 2 releasing the open beta. The reason I titled it, like, Play the Crew 2 Early for Free, is because that's really what the open beta is. It's the complete game, early, for free. Like, Grand Turismo Sport Closed Beta, I just called it Grand Turismo Sport Closed Beta. Because it wasn't the full game, and it wasn't really free, because not everyone got into it. But, the Crew 2... Open beta is just the full game for free, so that's why I called it that. If it wasn't the full game, I probably would just say open beta, and then give details about it in the video. But there wasn't really too much to say there, because as with the closed beta, the open beta is as well, the entire map there to use, all of the car lists there to use, and you can upgrade them to the actual map, absolute max. So, well, that's pretty much the full game, and it's free. Obviously, you don't like own game or whatever. When the online server shut down, you can't play it anymore. But for the time being, it's free, and I don't think we actually know the exact length of the open beta yet. 
So, I mean, I wasn't really trying to clickbait there, because that's what it was. I don't really know how many people this actually applies to, but I can tell some people may get mad about how I do videos like that. Honestly, I, I mean, if y'all have suggestions of how I should word videos, I'll definitely listen. But the way I do videos, I don't think is necessarily anything wrong fundamentally with it. I mean, maybe some of the information ends up not being 100% correct. But if it's like an information leak video, then you can only go with what you have if nothing's officially announced. And if something's officially announced, I'll pretty much say it's officially announced. Like, Burnout Paradise official trailer review. I did a video on the information leak, and then I did a video on the official trailer. Both of those pretty much correlated perfectly. There's a little bit of misinformation on the initial review, because it said something about... I think it was, like, the price difference or something. It was... Like, translated the $47 or whatever amount that it originally was. It ended up being 40 or something like that. But, that video was still relevant because I was using all of the stuff I found. And, trends in which the game was going. Such as how, when it would be released and all of that. To figure out something that was pretty much 90% correct. And I've made sure to not do videos that wouldn't be too correct. Such as there's been rumors since pretty close to day one of there being the old Han NSX in Gran Turismo Sport. But I haven't really seen anything that proves that yet and not too many people have either. There's something in code about an NSX but then again we have actual like the new NSXs. So who knows if it was just something along the lines of that. Or who knows, it could have even been the Group 2 NSX that we ended up getting later, but that again was one of the new ones and not an old one. So no one knows for sure, so I didn't do a video on that because people's already said it better than I could. If I do a video, it's either going to be my own take on something that's already been out, such as Grand Turismo Sport Update. It's information that I haven't seen people do videos on before. But a lot of that actually ends up coming from GG Planet in some way, shape, or form. Someone posted on GG Planet as typing it out, and then I'll do a video saying what it is. Or, it's going to be me trying to do something interesting with information that's already there. Like, specialitating, pretty much. Other people whose YouTubers may have been in the same race... But I'll try to make it as interesting as I can so y'all enjoy it. Special Tatum's pretty much been there since day one of me actually talking in videos. So I think that's pretty well accepted around here, I assume. Even though that's probably all at all the majority of videos on my channel, hopefully. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope y'all understand always and forever. And I'm not really trying to do clickbait videos unless it's obvious clickbait and meant for a joke. I'm not going to do anything serious as a clickbait. And I'm sure that the majority of y'all also understand this. And honestly, I don't know how many people actually would be watching at this point. But if y'all do, I salute y'all. And really watching at any point too, whether you skipped around or whatever. Either way, no matter how y'all got to this point, I'm just glad that y'all are here. And I'll continue to be around as long as I can be. And... I'm always going to try to make videos at the quality in which I had before. And, in my opinion, that's a good enough quality to have it out there and be well received. I ain't going to make a video if I don't think y'all like it. And I ain't going to make a video if I don't think there's a point to it. I mean, obviously, the PD logic, those are kind of negative And people ne that don't necessarily like them because, well, it's a negative. But I do think there's a point to it, just so y'all can see... That it's there and then maybe make your own judgments on whether you should like avoid it or whatever. So I hope you all enjoyed this or at least made a point of it. That's why I kind of mentioned the PETA object to end it. Because I don't know if this is necessarily like enjoyable or informative or whatever. But however you all may take this is hopefully in some way, shape or form. 
it will benefit y'all, whatever that may be. I guess still, uh, all in all, the best way to end this would be... Yeehaw! Because any video that ends in a yeehaw, I've made it to where y'all can enjoy it, hopefully, as best as possible. All those videos ended with a yeehaw, so I think this one definitely deserves it, too. Yeehaw!